Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can do the error handling and error logging within Power Automate. So in any of the traditional workflows or programs, we wish to handle the errors so that we can uh, log them somewhere and the corrective action can be taken. So same thing we are going to do, we are going to work with Power Automate. How we can do that, how we can log the errors with a friendly message so that the corrective actions can be taken. So for this, I'll be taking one example of bulk upload of items into one of my SharePoint lists that is the sales monthly planner from Excel file. So this video would also like make you learn how you can do bulk upload or create operations from an Excel file into the SharePoint items. So this will cover two topics. So major one is error handling and the error logging or notifying the user immediately if errors encounter within the bulk upload. So let's do that. So I've just opened this my monthly planner. I have four or five columns over here, title, summary, start date and status. And I'll just go to my Excel file. So there is one Excel file which I have created. It's the requirement is it could have like 100 records and the records would be like uploaded directly to SharePoint using Power Automate. So this is we are going to do. So you can see like I have created one table just for my these two column, two rows and how to create a table. You need to just select the area and then click on this table box and go to table tab. click on table. It will create, it will designate the table area for you. So right now, if I just go to my table design at the top, so you would see like this, my table is named as table one and this table one, the name we are going to use while using, while we are reading out the rows from our, this Excel file into Power Automate. So this is main thing. You have to give a name to your table. All right. And uh, let me just close this and go back to our Power Automate. All right. So now we can start working on Power Automate. I'll just create one simple instant flow and I wish to upload this Excel file in one to one of my document libraries. So I'll just go to my documents and I'll just try to upload that Excel file into this document library and my flow should be triggered. So I'll just choose the flow trigger as when file is created. So I'll just say when file is created in a folder. So I'll just uh, specify my site name and the folder ID. So it's directly into share documents. You can very well do that into any subfolder. And as a next step, I'll actually read out the list rows present into the table. And in between this uh, reading out this list rows, we'll be actually adding one or two couple more actions, but that I will tell you later when it comes to that. So I'll just simply use list rows present in table. And I'll just again map that location, map that site, map that document library. So it's directly documents, file. So over here, it actually uses one template file from where we can start fetching the columns and map those columns to SharePoint list. So I'll just pick up this uh, already uploaded file into my log document library as a template to start with. So because why I need this because I have to get my column names, the Excel column names as a dynamic value. And over here, I'll specify it automatically give me the table name, read read out uh, that what was given a stable name into this Excel file. So now I have this action. Now simply I have, I'll be just going to create item. So right now I'm just doing simple steps like reading the Excel item, uh, Excel rows and then creating the SharePoint item. I'll just again connect to my SharePoint site, choose list name as sales monthly planner. And one more uh, quick thing because we are working in with dates into my this list rows present table. So I have to go to show advanced option as well. And into the date format, I have to choose the date format as ISO 8601. Now I can minimize this one 
and just move on so now title if i just click on title go to dynamic you can see because i have specified the hard coded name for my excel file so it gave me that all the columns which were there in the excel file so i can just simply do the mapping title and it automatically binded that to apply to each because it must be doing for all the rows of sharepoint uh, that excel file summary i'll just bind the summary start date i'll just bind the start date and status value i do not have a status value column but it should be by default as new so now we are done so now here comes the actual topic of the day like what if like while uploading while creating these items any of the item gets failed and i wish to log that somewhere and should send out a notification to my uh, any of the owners or the person who is uploading this excel file that these rows out of 10 are failed you need to like do the corrective actions so this is the intent of this video to handle the error and as well as send out the notification with a error friendly message so now as a next step i'll just minimize this apply to each now as i said i should be notifying my uh, user that this has been failed so for that i'll be just creating one array so that i can capture the all the errors in a collective array so i'll just do initialize variable just after my trigger and i'll just name that as var error and i this would be of type as array and initial value i'll just left as is and later on i am going to capture the errors into this array so how to do that i'll just maximize my this uh, apply to each and I'll just use append to a variable and over here I'll just pick my variable which I have just created and what I'm going to use is I would be just writing one simple JSON so that that JSON can be in turn uses as a uh, converted into the table while when we are trying to send the email so I'll just simply say which item failed so my excel file was, was having this title summary so there could be id you can use id as well but right now i'll just use the title which title failed so i'll just uh, simply go back to my this thing flow and from here i'll just pick title again and you see like i could not get the title because we have applied that into apply to each so i'll just go to this create item and copy simply copy this just go to and and select this control c and come back to your this variable select the area where you wish to paste it go to expression and control p control v sorry so this is how i have pasted and removed the braces and uh, the address symbol in front of it now i got the title field i'll just say okay so it added the title and comma now I'll just say error message and how to get the error message is the key over here for the login so I should get an error message for my previous this action and what action resulted into error it should be logging that so as I said like only the items which are failed should be logged into this array so first of all I'll just set up this action click on three dots configure after so it should be just executed when the above this create failed item got failed so i'm just saying done so this would only be executed when this item creation got failed so for failed item it will be just appending to that array so now in the next step as i said in the error message i wish to actually capture the error friendly error message so for that i'll be using actions into expression and what that action would do for me like it will actually uh, read out the error and in the error it will read the message of that error so i'll just use actions function and in that you can see like i have to specify the action name as string so action was this action the previous action and you know like uh, we have to specify that into single course and create 
item so this is the action name because all the actions if we have the spacing in between it has to be uh, with the underscore create underscore item so this will give me the output of my previous action and dot error so when I got the error for this and dot message so this will give me this output of this action uh, this previous action error and dot message so I'll just simply say ok and it got added to my variable array so now I have this valid JSON created with the title with the error message so whatever item will fail it will append to this variable so we are good for now and in next step as I said I need to get a notification immediately when this bulk upload fails with few items so I'll just first of all convert my previous array variable to HTML table so I'll just say HTML create HTML and I'll use data operations under that create HTML table from my this variable array so I'll just pick that from dynamic content as where array and in advance the automatically the column should be created with the JSON which we specified earlier and in next step I will send email so whenever this thing happens this error occurs I will just send an email so to whom to send the email I can right now send it to myself but you can very well pick that from the person who created who uploaded the file for that you have to use the get file properties uh, after this folder creation so that we can have that specific uh, person who created or modified that file so if you wish to just modify notify that particular user you can very well fetch that if you wish to just uh, notify the owners which you already predefined then you can simply add their name so over here I can say file bulk upload failed report and over here you can just simply have your HTML in place and you can also add verbiage high below is the report failure report so that's how that's how like uh, you can have that email integrated so right now what we saw is just like we were fetching the list rows from our table we were doing a uh, error handling and error handling we are doing using this configure run after and if you wish to like have multiple actions done like when this item uh, create item went wrong or resulted into error then you can also add that into scope scope would, would give you uh, a area where you can have like multiple actions in place rather than just one because in our case we were having just append to variable just single action so that's why I did not use scope otherwise it's good to use scope so if something failed that scope would be having multiple actions would be uh, called up would be executed just if this item is failed so we can use that configure run after for that and for logging error message I have already told you actions action of that previous create item dot error message that will give you the all the uh, friendly error message for that item so that's how we can do so right now the only one thing which is left is if you remember I have read this file as in hard coded name a hard coded file name but I need to change that in a production environment I cannot uh, have this file name with a hard coded name so I have to change it and for that I'll be just using get file metadata so that I can get a file display name get file metadata and I'll just choose the site address in the file metadata I'll just specify the file ID which I got from my trigger and now I'll just go to my this tab and I'll just remove this and try to pick the file name from file metadata display name so it will be having whatever file bulk upload 7 dot xls the entire file name so I just need to remove this hard coded file name and I'll just remove this table as well and I know my this table name would always be table 1 so I'll just 
use table one as custom value and now I am done like everything expo uh, upload from Excel feature as well as login feature error login feature both are in place I can just simply save and give a name to my flow upload from Excel with error handling so error handling is just like uh, it's it could be applied anywhere it's not just like upload to Excel this tie to this flow so just for a simple example I took this so probably those who want to learn how to bulk upload the items to SharePoint using Excel this they can also refer the same video along with the those who are, who wish to learn the error handling alright so we are done now I'll just go to my file and I'll just upload this bulk upload so right now the data I'll show you the data so this item 1 is having the right date uh, uh, assigned to it but I title 2 is having a wrong date 16 so first parameter is month 16 is an invalid month so this should result me into error this title 2 so let's see I'll just upload and we'll just watch out so I just drag and drop that upload Excel file to my desktop library and I'll wait for my flow to run so it's running and it got succeeded as well so I will directly go to my apply to each and over here I can see my first item is just green that means like my item was created and the next item is red that means it failed and if I open that item you can see like I got this message that open API connection is not valid input parameter start date is required to of type string date runtime error so this thing I just I'm expecting my array to catch that okay so my array catch that test title too and the error friendly message and my HTML table must be created and this my HTML table and it must have sent out an email so I'll just go to my emails just to verify the how the email appears up not here so this is the email I am having the title as in column error message column so I got this detailed error message where it failed and that's good and one thing we just missed to do that is like this email should only be sent out when my this create HTML table is should not be null so if it's blank that means like everything is successful if you still wish to send out that success message so that's fine but if you wish to just send out the message when this error there is something into this error table then just put a simple condition if error the HTML table is empty then it should just skip it if it's not then it should send out that error email so I hope like we got the intent of this video to do a bulk upload while doing bulk upload how to handle the errors how to log the errors and as well as while logging the error you can put out the error friendly message rather than just saying like error record so that would not give any corrective actions to your uh, person who is who is performing this operation so that is that is the key just use actions error dot message for friendly errors so that's it for today i hope like uh, you may find this useful and if you do please drop your comments do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for today